Listen to what President Trump said about immigration at his blockbuster news conference with Prime Minister Theresa May earlier this morning. Roll tape. We have laws that are so bad, I don't even call them laws. I call them, it's just like you just walk across the border. You walk across the border, you would put one foot on the land, and now you're tied up in a lawsuit for five years. It's the craziest thing anyone's ever seen. Okay, I think we need some comment on that. And that man right there is the man to do it. He's Brandon Judd. He's the active Border Patrol agent, and he's the Border Patrol Union president. The president just said, you walk across the border, set one foot in, and you're there for five years with a lawsuit. What do you say to that? He's talking about consequences, and he's absolutely correct. Crime is based upon risk reward. What they're going to look mm. at is they're going to look about they're going to look at the risk, and they're going to look at the reward um, for breaking the laws. And right now, breaking the laws, there is very, very little risk to it. But the profits for the criminal cartels are out the roof. We're talking multi-billion-dollar. It's a multi-billion-dollar industry, and so they're going to look at this. And, and he's absolutely correct when he says that. I, I just want to one quick point. Last time you were on the show, you said that almost all of those people arriving at the border Order had been uh, sponsored by, or they were in the, they had paid uh, smugglers to get them to the border. Is that accurate? All that of, is most that. of them, all of them. Yeah, oh, all of them. It's you don't get illegal border crossings unless the criminal cartels allow those crossings to take place. Otherwise, they would be going to the ports of entry. That's a legal process. You can go to a port of entry and ask for asylum and do it legally. These people are crossing the border illegally because they put themselves in the hands of the smugglers because that's what they're being sold in the countries of origin. The, the, the smuggling organizations are going to these countries of or, origin. They're saying, if you pay us X number of dollars, we will get you to the United States border. We will get you across the border and you will be allowed in the country. And that's the product that they're selling. Funny how I've never read that in the New York Times. Next one. Of course not. Tennessee Congresswoman Diane Black proposing a bill that would make it a felony to cross the border illegally. Would that deter people, Brandon? It would deter them. I, again, let's go back to, to April of 2017 when we had 45-year lows in illegal border crossings. That's what people thought were going to happen. People thought that there, a consequence would be applied to the laws, but because the consequences weren't applied like people thought was going to happen, um, illegal border crossings just continued to surge and, and surge back right to where we're back to Obama-level um, numbers so, right now. So, Brandon, this circles back to what the president said. It Set does. one foot in and you're, you're in, and it'll take five years of lawsuits to either get you out or deal with you. So Diane Black is saying, you step one foot into America, and that's a felony, and I guess what, will you be arrested or something? Well, you, you will. I, you're arrested right now, but you're charged with a misdemeanor crime. Um, if you're arrested for a felony, it's much more difficult to, uh, to be bonded out, to be released, um, like what's happening now. And, and let's be clear, um, Stuart, when people get released into the country, they're expected to show up for their court dates at a, at a later time, which normally is about two years. Eighty-three, approximately 83 percent of the people that that violate our laws, that come across the border illegally and then are subsequently re released, never show up to court and therefore they become illegal again. And those are the people that are hiding in the shadows of society, as President Obama coined the term. Um, and that's the problem that we face. It, it, it's a huge problem and it's going to continue to be a problem until we take the proper steps to get a hold of this issue. Brandon Judd, always a pleasure. Thanks for being with us, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.